What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. As you can see, we are facing a bunch of Karns and Sarkons in the Arena Cube. Alright, I don't know what to take here. I like Basri's Lieutenant. I think it's pretty sweet. Pelucranos also a pretty sweet dude, especially for four mana. Thrag Tusk is nice. Hmm... Well, no, I know what the gems are. No, I wasn't asking what the gems were. I'm well aware of what the what the gems mean. I'm asking what the point of giving things like Urza's Tome. Like, what's the point of giving me a card like Urza's Tome? I'm like never gonna play this card. No one is. No one's if I wish they had a, the statistics on how many people have played constructed and built a deck and put Urza's Tome in it. And I bet the percentage would be less than like one percent. And I just don't understand. How much gold do you get for two one? You get you get you get your entry fee back, so you get like four thousand. I'm gonna take the lieutenant. Ooh, that's an early torrential gear hulk. Also, Luminarc Aspirant is great. Let's take a Luminarc Aspirant. Neckart, thank you so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. Merry Crimbus to you, my dude. Yeah, let's take a Luminarc Aspirant. And maybe Great Flapparition comes back because it's not super exciting. Hanged Executioner is fine. Oh, uh, Hornet Queen is pretty sweet. And I feel like if we're playing this, like, token counter deck, we're going to be green anyway. So I'm just taking Hornet Queen. And we're looking for that Anointed Procession. Grimba's happy. I think Lyra's just good. <laughs> you just take Lyra. I don't think Vastwood Fortification is better than a Lyra. Oh my god, Mediocre Magic Man, what are you doing? Yes, I understand it's a random uncommon. <laughs> Why are you answering these questions like they're not rhetorical? Oh, that would be a gem. It is uh, traditionally given in place of a rare or a mythic if you have a whole set, and then they uh, replace the cards in those slots. Yes, buddy, I know. Goodness gracious. Ministrant of Obligation seemed like a pretty easy pick. Our deck is like white card, white card, white card. Two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop, seven drop, triple green card. Mediocre magic man, am I right? What a what a rascal. Oh yeah, mediocre info man. That was actually not the other day. That was earlier today. I know it seems like a lifetime ago, but Slavala's so interesting. Adding a bunch of mana? Probably gonna take Scattered Groves here. Slavala's so cool and all, but like, I don't like the fact that the opponent can also draw cards off of it, and I also don't like... Um, like, if we're playing a token deck, it's it's very likely that our creatures are like 1-1s one and 2-2s. Two I mean, why even have uncommon? Should they only give out rares? <sighs> I mean, maybe for events, yeah. Maybe. I don't even, like, I'm, I don't even think that's a bad idea. I'll take a Cloud Blazer. That seems like a splashable card here. It's weird that this is a full-on Grixis pack, except for Cloud Blazer. But I mean, like, I don't see why they don't cure. Like, you can easily curate the lists, right? Like, the lists of cards that are given out. You can make, like, promos or, you know, uncommons that are playable. Like, everyone at fucking Wizards of the Coast knows that, like, Urza's Tome is not a playable card. No one is playing that. And there aren't formats on Arena that encourage you to play it. There's not a pauper format. There's not a peasant format. You know what I mean? Like, there's no formats that are like, here you go. Here's an uncommon that you could play. Like, Ancestral Blade. Yeah, let's take that. Okay, well, I'll take you into the Royal in case we are blue-white. Eh, Warrant Warden. This makes a 4-4. Sure. 
sure. We're looking much blue whiter. Sure. That makes a token too. I'm gonna put a Hornet Queen and Scattered Groves down here. Would you have been more satisfied if it was an Urza? Yeah, for sure, actually. Yes. Funny enough. Because it's not a thing I can open in a pack, and it's not a thing I have like a thousand of that I'm never going to use. I may never use it, right? But it makes my collection cosmetically better. Like when I when you're forcing me, and because it because it, it speaks to a different problem, which is that you have to scroll through every card you own, because there's no way to uh, to get rid of your cards. So when I'm scrolling through my collection, I have to see all 14 copies of Duress. So it's like if you're giving me a card style, it makes it a little easier on Thank my eyes. You. you know what I mean? Oh, Big Lou, you piece of shit. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Right, if Tome is in a cube or a limited format again, you could use the style. Right, so if I'm playing like Dominaria Flashback Drafts, then I have the style. Like, it just makes sense. Look, we, we all know no one's playing with Urza's Tome. We know it. Like, we know it. I just spit out my drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me and Big Lou, we, we get along. We have a good time. What do we got here? We got Mythos. We can take this Mythos. Are we just... Are we just Bant? I mean, realistically, I want the Voracious Hydra, but... I want to take this Mythos. Wonderful Christmas time. The moon is right. The spirit's up. We're here tonight. And that's enough. Oh, Mangara. 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 Is it Mangara? It took me a second to fully realize he was being sarcastic. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's just take the Mang Mangara. Or the the Magus, if, as, as Mike would say. Okay, so we need three drops. And Shalai seems pretty sweet. Let's take Shalai. Body double is super interesting here. I'm going to take Midnight Clock. I keep being impressed with Midnight Clock. Like, this format isn't fast enough where they just kill you before your your clock can go off. And it's like ramp. Like, if it would be one thing if this is just a card that came into play that, like, put a counter on it. When it hits 12 counters, draw a like, time walk, time twister. But it's so much more than that. I'm going to take Temple Garden because I think the odds of us playing green is not terribly low. And if we can get enough fixing lands, like... We also have Spring to mind. Uh, Mollusk Glyclaves is actually Thank what's you. known as a banger. Eric, what up? Welcome back, my dude. Good seeing you, man. Thank you for the resub, Eric. Really appreciate it. Let's take Cultivator's Caravan. Hmm... I don't care about any of these cards, really. Sajiri Glacier might be fine. Oh, so, sorry. Sajiri Shelter. My bad. My bad. It's my bad. So, oh, yeah. Rex Sage. God, Rex Sage has so many targets. It's unbelievable. And we got this Umara Wizard, which is basically... Oh, Song of Frailies? Wow. I was tempted to take that the first time because of the counters. Thank you! 
Super Fritz with the gifted sub. I suppose all Sejuris look the same to you. Okay, listen. Listen. They do. What do you want me to do? Oh, I was actually hoping to get that body doll. Uh, oh. Super Fritz gifted a sub to Santa farts on you. I think Warkite Marauder is a little better for this deck, especially when we have, like, Luminarch Aspirin to, like... Oh, interesting. Interesting. Do you guys mind when it's like this? Is this too small? Or is this good enough for you guys to see what's going on up here? Man, I can't wait till the, the other five Triomes are around. I would love to see a Bant Triome or an Abzan Triome. Not an Abzan, but a Esper Triome. Grixis Triome. Santa farts on you. <laughs> oh, God. I think it's just settled. Actually, is Thassa good here? What is Thassa Blink that we care about? Rexage. Basri's Lieutenant. Cloud Blazer. Huh. I'm going to take Thassa. I think we could actually find more more beautiful cards for the Thassa. Oh, like a Skyclave Apparition? Oh yeah, that's the ticket. Of course, we have like a million cards right now. I would love a couple more Fixing Lands. Is that too much to ask for? Elysian Carry added, not terrible. I also don't think Stormcaller is great for our deck. We only have Into the Rolling Gods Willing, neither of which are that exciting. I'm going to take the uh, carry added. Essence scat for creatures. <laughs> that's what I would use it for, too. That's a, that's a solid suggestion. Antibody, what could we possibly use an essence scatter on? For creatures. I didn't think about that. That's a good point. I think it's Rishkar. Rishkar puts two counters on things? Sure. Ooh, Dryad. I would love to play an Ulamog, but I have not felt like I have not felt like we've had an Ulamog deck. Fearless Fledgling is decent, though. Let's take old Fledgy. Oh, it's got Sun Scun Petal Grove? Yeah, I'm taking a Scun Petal Grove for sure. Oh, Glacial Fortress? Man, you guys are making me... You guys are giving me the business here. And Hollowed Fountain, Scattered Grove, and Temple Garden all turn them on as well, so that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Temple of Enlightenment is nice. Um, I don't think this is great for us uh, from your graveyard. If it wasn't from your graveyard, I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. I'm going to take Temple. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have five more slots. So it's 13. So we need about four cuts at this particular juncture. Oh, boy. It's going to be rough. Probably take Cultivator's Caravan out because we did uh, fix our mana up quite a bit. I don't think I care about Ancestral Blade that much. Settle was the card I was going to take the first time, so I'll take it now. Is my timing better this time? Oh, yeah. Big timing. Thank you! Triome is two of our colors. I don't think we're a tutelage deck. I'll just take a Triome. Scarfed in. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Too late to draft a Yorg. I mean, like, you can't just draft a Yorg. You have to, you have to get to see it, you know? Yeah, I'll take Karuga. Not excited about it. Right. Tetsuko. Sure. 
Oh, last pick Slither Blade? No, oh, that's a banger. I think four cuts here from this really weird deck. Oh, this is also a land. This is a land. So it's closer to three cuts. Because we can cut one land here very easily. Let's pump it up. Okay, so what do we got here? We got one, two, three. White sources, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a lot. Blue, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's also a good amount. White, we have the green, we have three, four, five, six, seven. Let's take out a white. Let's take out two whites, add another forest. Oh no, I wanted lands. What is that doing? Give me lands. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sources of white, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sources of blue. Hmm. And then four, five, six, seven, eight sources of green. Eight, eight, nine, I think we definitely want one more one more white than blue. Yeah, that seems better. Okay. Still need three cuts. God's willing, I'm not super excited about. How many creatures do we have here? 16? That's a good amount. Plus we have other things. Is branching evolution good enough? Let's see. We got this guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. Uh, this uh that's a deep dwelling does not this guy hmm. is six cards enough to work with branching evolution yeah there's just not enough decks where settle is relevant Hey, Frank, watching the latest draft, just to let you know, when chat brought off Mike B was echoing, he was, but it doesn't seem to be all the time. I noticed that too. When I rewatched it, the first video that Mike was on, it didn't. I didn't feel like there was an echo, and the second video I did. Well, the echo, the, the, um, the echo is theoretically coming from both the audio coming from his mic and my mic picking up his voice. So that was the echo. That's why I wasn't echoing. Because I'm kind of facing this way, and his mic is over here. He's facing this way, and my mic's over here. So my mic is in front of him. <sighs> two cards, two cards. Take out body double. I do kind of, I do kind of like branching evolution. If one more counters, we put a creature you control. Nothing else puts one more counters on creatures, right? Sit up straight. Oh, look how much. Six creatures enough for. I could just take out branching evolution. I don't know. This putting two counters on everything. I hope you know. I hope that I'll hope that all is well and your branching evolution is nice. <laughs> Oh, man. Good times. We could just play 41. This is what? 4, 5, 6, 7, Thank 8, you. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is 18 mana sources. Oh, what a buy. Welcome back. 28 months, man. That is a lot. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to go 41. We're going to live the dream. We're going to put Branching Evolution as our, as our thing. And we're going to make the magic happen, as they say.
Let's play first. Sure. Sure. And you can always go draw lands. 18 mana sources, don't forget. Here we go. Here we go. It's two land curse. Never keep two lands. This is fucking exactly why. Oh my god. The problem is, if this was a... Jesus. Yeah. We've been watching Short Circuit lately? Uh... Yep, cool. No, why? I don't understand. And you can always go downtown. No, I, I think of downtown from specifically from Seinfeld. But I'm playing blue, so like, whatever. I mean, if we don't draw land, we can at least maul the Skyclaves and then get a 4-3 flyer. This client's stink. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Glad I, glad I used my Rex Sage. I was hoping for another blue source so I could mythos this guy, but that's not how that works. This is going quite well. No fifth land. No blue land. Cool. Really glad we're doing best of uh, best of three here. You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. But we're not playing Hornet Queen either. That's interesting. I clearly forgot we had a Hornet Queen. <sighs> I think our deck is good. Our mana is like 888. <laughs> like, it's pretty good. But it was not going well. The client drew no lands and no fun was had by anyone. Except for Frank's opponent. Okay. That'll do. And we can draw a Luminarch. We can find a Luminarch ascend attendant or something. Eh, you're too early. Oh, Ministrant. That's actually okay. Like, I watch a lot of Frank, and I think it brings right on the land issues with clients. Yeah, I... Buddy. I agree. Wow. Two games in a row, huh? Seems good. And that comes into play tapped, and this does not have a target. We can't cast, can't cast this. Oh my god, dude! This is so fucking bad. Yeah. I mean, they miss like a land drop. Ready? Just kidding. Yeah, there it is. Well, at least we got a 4-5 pro multicolor. Mythos of Nethroi. That's good, but... Uh, we ain't having that. <sighs> Alright, I feel like we're doing a little better here. I would like to stop missing land drops when my hand is full of more expensive cards, but... <sighs> okay. Yep, seems good. Hey, look, a land drop. And that's something. That's a big-ass Basra's Lieutenant. They got three cards. 
What could they be? They got three cards. What can they be? Hey, they did have the mythos of Nethroi. Wow, who, who would have thought? Really? I'm like, I will block this and get a trade my 2-2 two -two for a 3-3? Three -three? Deal. We have a Thassa. Eh, I don't know if that's good enough to... It's okay, I guess. I can just trade here. Then play Lyra. They have one card. Oh god, cancel that. That's not what we're trying to click. Vigilance? No, it gives first strike, right? So seven. It's a two turn clock either way. That's good. That's good. Can we just cloud blazer here? 420 cloud blaze it? I think we just make a 4 4 flyer because. Wait, can we not? Wait, why can't we do this? Three blue white. Why? Because <laughs> I'm still in combat. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm like, I don't understand. Explain it to me, please. Yeah, so now both of these are lethal next turn with Maul, so. Okay, they just literally have one draw to, to get out of this mess. Can you guys explain why, um, why I can't play this card? Wow, that's your fucking top deck. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, Jesus. Unbelievable. You had to draw a fucking card that deals with Lyra and gains you life. It had to do both of those things. <sighs> Guess we can attack for four, Cloud Blazer, block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, and then we still die. That's amazing. That's actually incredible. <sighs> Fucking amazing. Oh, Lord. Give me strength. Oh, you have vigilance, though. Actually... The vigilance might work. Well, God. So they have four, five, six, seven mana. We have five. So if we weren't just hitting... If we weren't just missing land drops this entire game, I think we'd have a much different situation. 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's, yeah, this actually is lethal still. <laughs> what a fucking perfect draw. Holy shit, dude. Look at your draws. Mythos, fucking Noxious Gear Hulk, Banishing Light, Skyclave Apparition. Like, okay, cool. How many threats have I played? One, two, three, uh, and then the fourth one under here. Yeah, okay, sounds perfect. <sighs> 18 mana sources still consistently miss land drops every single game. Okie dokie. I'm gonna take it because of fledgling and because we're on the draw. And any whiter wow. Actually it might just be it might be this guy, because if we hit on a, a third land, then we have four mana, so we can go fledgling into land into the thing. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Whenever the creature, if it's controlling a draw card, if its power is greater than each other creature's power, so I can just play Shalai here and draw a card. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. Also, we can add red with this guy to Mythos. Oh, Jesus. One, two, three, four. Wow, what is going to happen now? I too will have one of those jobbies. Hmm. Uh, as an Italian, like we typically have pasta of some sort for for Christmas. Me and Katie and Mike are gonna keep that tradition up with uh, some baked ziti, and um, Michael and Katie actually got some ham that they're gonna have. Uh, yeah, we're definitely attacking here. Uh, fingers crossed they don't have Ulamog. No Ulamog, no Ugin, huh? The tr Yeah, it's the, uh, traditional Christmas Gabagool. Okay, well that's not... That's not nearly as bad as those other things I was afraid of, so... That's pretty okay, I guess. Uh, no feast of the fishes because I don't eat, I don't eat fish, so that doesn't. That, that, I mean, we could have it, but I don't know why I would, would have it if I don't eat it. So, yep, Shalai dying is pretty bad. Uh, this guy have trample? No, which is kind of nice. So my Christmas tradition is Chinese food. See, that's funny. You're a funny guy. Let's play this guy. Let's don't don't tap my creature for that. Add a white and a blue. Sure, resolve it. Doesn't do anything. Wait, what? 
Wait, what? Because this is a land now? Fuck out of here with that. So if I attacked first... No, that would still be a land. Wait, what? Why is it a... Why is it still a land? If, if I turn this off and it no longer has this ability, why was it still a land? None of this makes any sense. Sure. Isn't it Feast of... What's it called? Feast of the Seas? Oh, you're just gonna, just gonna hard cast a turn timber symbiosis to get a knight of autumn to kill my Marari's wake. <sighs> Fucking eye roll. Just go to the next game, I guess. Because, you know, this one's fucking done. Meanwhile, we have Rex Sage in our deck. We also have a... Uh... Don't we have another one? I guess it might just be Rex Sage. Do we have another one? I kind of want to settle in here. Um, yikes. Big yikes. Snap keep. I don't I don't know if I love Mangara either, but I've only played with him like twice, so I'm really not sure. So next turn we can go land midnight clock fledgling. Oh yeah, I never thought Mangara was going to see any standard play. He just doesn't do anything. Um... I mean, it gets mono red, like... Maybe, but they have cards that just kill him. Primal Might, my 1-1. One, one. Yep, take five. Okay, okay. Well, I have to pay two life for this guy. Copy it again? I feel like I do. I 
feel like that's really good with our with our midnight clock. All right. Well, we can add a counter to the midnight clock in this turn. Wow, never fucking fails. <laughs> That's amazing. I wonder how many you have of those. Because I have Rex Sage in my deck, but I don't get to draw it nearly as frequently, so... Seems good. So, one, two, three, we can pump this. I don't really feel like we're in a position to attack anymore. Jesus Nothing but bangers from here. The time to fight is now. Five for Lana or Elf. Oh boy. So I block the Knight of Autumn. That's amazing. Five, six, seven, eight, we take eleven, so I gotta like chump here, I guess. Cool. Try and hit a settle here, which would be pretty decent. And we have seven cards to do it. Um, the the thing is, like, we don't actually have to do it now. We can do it on their turn. I actually have literal no idea what we could draw that isn't settle. So we're gonna have twenty eight cards. Twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty one, thirty two. 7, 28. So it's like we have a like 20% chance, 1 in 5 of hitting a settle. It's pretty... It's not great. We have no incentive to... Alright, let's do it. Of course not. <laughs> it's fucking incredible. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Their odds of drawing Knight of Autumn, 1 out of 40 in their deck is higher than us drawing uh, 7 out of 32 settle. Seems good. I can't just say the bad things that are happening. I have to feel them happen. I think we should just have Hornet Queen in the deck. Take out Branching Evolution and just put Hornet Queen in. It's just unbelievable. Like, I don't know, man. Like, it's just really frustrating when your opponent just has everything they need. Oh, wow. We win if you don't draw a Noxious Gear Hulk. Okay. Well, you only get... You literally have no cards in hand, and then you just have to top deck it, so...
Sure. I mean, this definitely seems like the best game we've had. We've hit all of our lands. We're not under a unreasonable amount of pressure. I can play an island and not take damage and still drop a Lyra. Doesn't matter because they have exactly the card they need. That costs the exact amount of mana they have. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Keep him in, girl. Sure. You got it. three so if we have five mana so we can go clock into Mangara tap B tap B sure stack for two here Holy shit. One, two, three, one, two, three. Man, remember when we had Hornet Queen out and I thought we were in really good shape and then they then they just played a fucking Realm Cloak Giant? That was pretty cool. I guess I'll I guess I'll go to fucking four. Oh god. Kind of funny, I guess. You know, in a really sad kind of way. 
now I can block two of these things and uh, it doesn't really do much. I can't. I can't even fucking deal with this like bullshit tonight. Like I'm just so I'm just so done with it. Jesus, the fucking like never-ending string of always have it's is just like completely demoralizing tonight for some reason. Funny thing is we have to have a bunch of good cards that are actually pretty decent against board wiping. I guess we have like two. Never drawn Thassa yet, so that's unfortunate. What is this going to do? I guess we can play Ministry. Yeah, of course there's land on top. Oh, must be nice to, to have lands on top of your dick. Can't cast this. Don't really. I guess we. I guess we're just actually casting this for, for draw two. So, wow, no lands coming up whatsoever. Fucking absolutely dead inside. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we can go fledgling. Oh, I don't want to copy it this time. I just want to kill it. But I guess we could have done both. Yeah, we actually, I think we could have done it, right? We play the land, we go one, two, three, four, Mythos, and then we tap two to wreck Sage and kill it. I think that would have been better, but I'm, like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm just really not, like, my, my head's kind of out of this particular draft, so. I'm going to say a line from a movie I watched. Guess the line and win a prize. Wait to guess after I gift the subs. Hint, I said Merry Christmas, you filthy animal, after the last draft when I gifted... So what I'm going to say is probably from the sequel this time. So it's from Home Alone 2? Got it. 
Subtle wreckage could be nice here. It could be Home Alone 3. That's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana. Uh, no attacks. Thanks for reading that effortlessly. It ended up being way longer than I thought when talking. I was like, oh my god, he's still going. Yeah. So long, dudes. A shit ton of lands now, but Realm Cloak Giant. Yep. You know what? If you're playing a Realm Cloak Giant, then I might as well get rid of all of your guys. Here we go. Realm Cloak Giant. Oh, fuck. Let's lower the volume really quickly because it's extremely loud. Yep. Good, good, good. I mean, I'm tempted to just put it on top, but I don't know how to deal with this long term, unfortunately. Play Giants is actually a solid strategy. One, two, three, four. So we can play this and keep up into the royal. I mean, I'm tempted into the royal to cloud blazer if they want to play their stupid giant. So to be clear, are they are they're playing cast off or they're playing? Yeah, this is the highlighted part. I guess that's what I need to look for. That was significantly lower that time. One, two, three, four. You got it. I mean, this is actually raceable if we equip the Mangara with a Maul of the Skyclaves.
got it. Play another spell so I can draw a card. Hey, our guy wasn't a giant. Why did giant killer work? Oh, you know why. Interesting. I mean, I probably would have played this first so I didn't draw a card, but... Oh, boy. Uh, that's is actually pretty decent. Just because one, two, three, four. <laughs> so I only have seven, so I can't tap anything down or play two things this turn. Interesting. Hmm. Why do you why would you wait until I block? What the fuck? Oh lord. Yeah, so this is basically the game. They just we play Thassa. That's cool. Wow, I don't think we won a fucking game. <laughs> I mean, we probably won a game. We definitely didn't win a match, though, so what can you do? Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, hopefully we can do a little better next time and our deck is not actual hot trash. So I'll see you later.